So the holiday season is in full swing. Shoppers hitting the stores, looking for the deep discounts they can get on the big ticket items. It's always TVs, right? Uh, video of some shoppers here on your screen from Haywood Mall earlier today was Cyber Monday. They got these pre-Thanksgiving deals. There was talk about whether Black Friday would still energize shoppers like it did in years past. I boycotted today. But here in the upstate, <laughs> holiday shoppers still got started in a really big way. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan is in the thick of things tonight. He is live in downtown Greenville. Dave, what have you bought so far? <laughs> Well, I haven't bought anything, but Brianna, not unlike you, a lot of people here are boycotting, but some people are here shopping. I should tell you the stores are open, holiday hours are extended, people clearly taking advantage of these deep discounts. Downtown Greenville is always a popular spot, but today there was more foot traffic than usual, even for Black Friday. All right. The rush for deep discounts fueled by an even sweeter incentive, free parking. When we pulled up, it was free. We were like, hey, that's great. So. It's a nice, a nice plus. We passed on our way here the long line at Haywood exit and went zoomed right past that and we were able to just come down here, park in the parking garage for free and yeah. get down to the stores immediately. Mass General and Opie Taylor Toy Store were perhaps the most popular places to shop in this area. A conscious choice for some. Yay, thank you. I think it's even cool that, you know, like this is like an old school toy store, which is cooler than what you get at the mall. We're trying to shop, small shops, and that's what I'm, that means a lot to me in, in this part of the country, so we're doing small business. But bargains inside Haywood Mall were too good to ignore. We opened our doors at 6 a.m., but around 8 a.m., it really started picking up, and by 10 a.m., we were packed out. Parking lots outside the mall were at full capacity by noon, and inside, stores offered discounts typical of Black Friday sales. Sue Nuthalapati said it was worth it. I came out looking for specific things and I found good 40-50% off of some jeans that my kids like to wear. It's much cheaper than regular days. Now it's too early to tell exactly how much money was spent over Black Friday, but many malls across the country are saying that they are seeing sales similar or higher than where they were last year. By the way, online sales are going to be a big deal this year. Analysts predicting that sales online will top more than $3 billion. That is a record number, first time that has ever happened in the history of Black Friday. We are live in downtown Greenville. Dave Jordan, 7 News.